for this summer was to do a bookshelf reorganization and I have about one week left of summer vacation chill time which first of all freaks me out but second of all gives me a push in the right direction to finally rearrange my shelves because these shelves are a mess and as you guys can see that pile over there is the stack of books that I have hauled in the past couple of three months and with me officially moving back home in the next two to three weeks that means that I will be bringing even more books with me from Utrecht to my hometown about like 30 ish 40 ish books and I literally I, I just, I, I don't have any space left. <laughs> First of all, I'm gonna clean my room because this place is dusty as hell. Then I will be having a look at the books which are on my shelves right now, which I want to unhaul. Like books that I've already read, but that I didn't enjoy. Even also some books that I know that I will just not get to, or books that I have read that I enjoyed, but that I don't necessarily feel the need to keep. So I will see you in a little bit while I'm cleaning. <laughs> Wow, how I wish all cleaning went like that. I made a bucket with soap and stuff like that so that when I have taken out all of my books from the shelves, I can finally give my shelves a cleanse because they are dusty as well. But first I'm gonna have a look at which books I want to keep and which ones I want to unhaul. So let me take you on that journey with me. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking about unhauling Sadie because I did read it and I really enjoyed this thriller, but Again, like I know kind of, ooh, my bookmark's in here. <laughs> and I do kind of like know what's gonna happen in this thriller, which already makes me less keen on keeping it. I'm also thinking of giving away Daughter of the Burning City by Amanda Foodie because I recently read this in a reading vlog and I really enjoyed it. But again, just like with Sadie, I think I could make someone else really happy with this one. And I can make some space on my shelves. Now let's go on to this one. Look, this is the whole pile of books that I need to somehow fit in my shelves. And I have many more books to come from. Utrecht. Okay, so the lighting is not optimal here, but I do have like some books where I'm doubtful whether I'll ever pick them up. Oh, I'm definitely gonna put this one away as well. This was a little collection of short stories, which I got for free at the Dutch book event, and I have like no interest in picking it up. <laughs> okay, so no books that I want to unhaul on that shelf, but let's go to my last shelf. Okay, so I don't have any books there that I want to unhaul, but I have recently read two books, which I enjoyed, but I didn't love them as much as I hoped I would. And those two books that I also want to unhaul are Date Me, Bryson Keller by Kevin Van Wy, and you should see me in a crown by Leah Johnson. I know, a shocker. Everyone adored this book to bits and pieces and I enjoyed it, but there were some things in it that I didn't like and the same kind of goes for Date Me, Bryson Keller. <sighs> now it's time to get to the organization part of this video and I'm not looking forward to it <laughs> because I'm afraid it's gonna take me so much time. What I wanna do is this shelf right over here next to like my chilling chair. I want to make that my shelf full of like my favorite books. I don't know if I have enough books that I would consider to be my favorites to completely fill it up, but we're at least gonna have a look if I can. <laughs> and then the other two shelves, this one back here at me and the one that I'm looking at right now, I want to do those color coordinated because I am organized like that. I really like the way that it looks and I've always had my shelves like that. So for that, I'm gonna take all of my books out of my shelves and organize them by color and that's how I'm gonna do it and then I'll come right back at you when my shelves are completely beautifully organized. You know it's serious business when you have to put your hair in a bun. books on my bed and I put them in a color scheme thing and now I have to figure out like which books I want in which shelf because I don't want like all of my yellow books to be on one shelf probably like I just I, I don't know how to do this <laughs> have a look at all of my books in their color coordinated glory but now let's have a look at how I will fit these all on my two empty shelves because I have cleaned out this one. It looks so strange being quite empty. And right now I just need to clean this shelf and then I can see how I will fit all of these books in the shelves. <laughs> Bye. 
So it is four o'clock in the afternoon. It has taken me about four hours to rearrange my bookshelves. Oh my god, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I have done it as you guys could have seen. I did this shelf and this shelf in a rainbow style. I like that so much. I don't know, it gives me such peace to see everything organized by color. And then this shelf right over here will be featuring all of my favorite books. I have put some books there in series that I actually haven't read yet, but it's kind of like a prediction. It's like, these are gonna be my future favorite books. Let's hope. So I do have some space left on this shelf, but other than that, everything is full, like 100% full. So I need to get that TBR card thing that I see everywhere on bookstagram in order to hopefully have some space for the books that I still have left in Utrecht. Yeah guys that was my bookshelf reorganization. I have been dreading to film this video for such a long time so I'm glad it's done. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. You can follow me on all of my different kinds of social media pages because I'm a booktuber of course I have goodreads but I also have Instagram Twitter, an Etsy store, and an email address, and links to those will all be in the description box down below as well. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!